Here's an example with reconnected capacitors. A 5 microcoulomb capacitor is charged to 10 volts and a 10 microcoulomb capacitor is charged to 5 volts. How much energy is lost or gained when the capacitors are reconnected positive plate to positive plate and how much energy is lost or gained when the capacitors are reconnected positive plate to negative plate? First things first, picture. I've drawn the two capacitors and I've added the information that I found in the problem. Now with capacitance and voltage across the capacitor we can figure out how much charge is on these capacitors. So that's the first thing we'll do. The charge on the first capacitor is 5 microfarads times 10 volts. That's 50 microcoulombs. The charge on the second capacitor is 10 microfarads times 5 volts, also 50 microcoulombs. What happens when the capacitors are reconnected positive plate to positive plate? The new charge will be the sum of the two charges on the capacitors, so 100 microcoulombs. When they're reconnected, the two capacitors are connected to the same points. That makes them in parallel. So the new capacitance is the sum of our two capacitors. That's 15 microfarads. For kicks, let's calculate the new potential difference across the arrangement of two capacitors. We take our new charge, divide by the capacitance of our new arrangement, and we get 6.67 volts. Now let's calculate the old energy and the new energy and see how much we lost or gained. When they're reconnected, the two capacitors are connected to the same points. That makes them in parallel. So the new capacitance is the sum of our two capacitors. That's 15 microfarads. For kicks, let's calculate the new potential difference across the arrangement of two capacitors. We take our new charge, divide by the capacitance of our new arrangement, and we get 6.67 volts. Now let's calculate the old energy and the new energy and see how much we lost or gained. To calculate the amount of energy that we had at the beginning of the problem, we add the potential energies that were initially stored on the two capacitors. So 1 half capacitor 1 V1 squared plus 1 half capacitor 2 V2 squared. That's 1 half times 5 microfarads times 10 volts squared plus 1 half times 10 microfarads times 5 volts squared. We get 3.75 times 10 to the negative 4 joules or 0 0.375 millijoules. Now let's calculate the new energy. The new energy will be given by 1 half times the capacitance of our new arrangement times the potential difference across our new arrangement squared. That's 1 half times 15 microfarads times 6.66 volts squared. That is 3.33 times 10 to the negative 4 joules or 0 0.333 millijoules. It turns out that we lose energy when we reconnect the capacitors together. We lose 0 0.42 10 to the negative 4 joules or if you carry all your digits through that's 0 0.423 times 10 to the negative 4 joules. Now let's see what happens when we reconnect the positive plate to the negative plate. The new charge on the capacitor arrangement will be the charge on capacitor 1 minus the charge on capacitor 2 and that's zero coulombs. That means that the new potential difference across the capacitor arrangement is zero volts and that all the energy is lost. Don't you love it when problems end like that? Here is what the solution looks like when it's written on two pages and spread the joy of physics.